Hello everyone and welcome to the part 5 of our complete Exco Cloud tutorial series. In our journey so far, we have created multiple workflows and you have become proficient in creating various type of workflows. Today's lesson will be concise and focused. We will dive into how to trigger a workflow in response to tech changes on release branch. This is critical skills for maintaining efficient and automated development processes. So let's take a look at this workflow. Typically, in your current development workflow, you have a master branch that contains the most stable version of your app. Alongside a development branch, when you make and update code changes, once you have completed changes in your development workflow, you commit and push these changes to the remote development branch. After this, these changes are merged into the master branch. These actions trigger Exco Cloud to detect the update on the master branch. Following this detection, Exco Cloud will then process to build and test the updated application. Finally, it will distribute to the internal tester for further evaluation. Once our internal tester gives a green light indicating that everything is good to go, we then create a new tag. For example, v1.0.1. Escocal is set out to detect any new tags. Let's start with V. It automatically triggers a final round of unit testing. Following successful testing, Escocal proceeds to create a build specifically for submissions to App Store for review. This process ensures that the version sent for review is as stable and reliable as possible, meeting our high standard of quality. Today, we are going to dive into crucial process of setting out the detections of versioning text in Escort Cal. Understanding how to configure these features is the key to streamlining your development workflow. So let's jump right in and get started. Let's create a new workflow. For today's lesson, we will fast track straight to the setting out the start condition. Go ahead and create a new one and select tag changes. You can remove the branch changes start condition as it is not needed for our current purpose. Referring back to the example shown in the slides, we now select custom tab. Here, click add and type in capital V to configure the system to recognize text that begins with capital V. Remember these settings is cap sensitive so you will also need to add lowercase v to capture all relevant text. With this set out, you are free to choose your subsequent action and save this workflow. This workflow will activate whenever you create a tag on your remote branch that start with capital V or small v. And that's wrap up this lesson. In our next lesson, we will explore how to notify successors and failure via email or step, the second part of post-action.